in Livingston, Texas. See this 1911 Baldwin, I think it's a 460. Sarah, I think you can get up in there maybe? Uh, we drove through here yesterday to go to the store and we completely missed it because they got all this road construction going on. And then they're blocking where we could see. Uh, she says the gates are locked. It looks like it's got cab access, but balloon stack or uh, mushroom stack up there. Balloon. But no bowler plates on it either. That's a 19, another bald one. Let's see, four, I think it's 460. Cabbage stack, that's what I was trying to say. Cabbage stack. And. Yeah, it looks like it's got, if the gate was open, you could get right up on it. It's too bad. Most of it's covered up on this side. I was hoping the construction noise out there wouldn't be too much. Is it W.T. Carter and Brothers? I don't know how well you can see. And we'll move around to the other side, obviously, if I can get through here. You got a little picnic tables and everything. And another locked gate. Sarah looks sad. It's a little log cabin thing right here. This is a historical park. Oh, we got a plaque. Unfortunately, now we're on the side with all the construction noise. I'll come back, I'll get a picture of that. Yeah. Hey, it's covered. It's more than we say about some things. The trains in Texas so far have been really well taken care of. I haven't seen many like derelict ones. Ugh. No bowler plate. And back around front. I know it's getting noisy, guys. I'm sorry. Not really much I can do. I guess I'll just stop here and take pictures. Put them at the end. Alright, thanks, guys.